in Think 101, we're trying to essentially practice what we preach. So we just learned uh, a fair bit within this episode about learning to learn and uh, desirable difficulties and the best way to learn information and retain that information over a long period of time. So what do we do with this sort of information and how do we apply it in the course? Well, students, hopefully, they can kind of use this as, as an exercise to see, for example, how the spacing effect is imposed in our course or massed versus spaced learning or interleaving content or retrieval practice. Uh, some of the examples include for the spacing effect, we have it spread over 12 weeks instead of releasing all of the content all at once in 48 hours, for example. Uh, there's a quiz every single week instead of just a midterm and a final. So students are having to retrieve that information week by week. At the end of every episode, we have people provide an example from their everyday lives. And so if they can see, if they're actually working on the content, they're discussing this material um, around the dinner table or with friends, or they bring it up at the pub, the more that they do this, the more that they, that they retrieve this information and work on it outside of the course, the better it's going to stick in memory and the longer they'll have it. Um, there's a bunch of these examples. There's space learning, interleaving. Every single episode, people might notice, is shot in a different location. So we have uh, the lawnmower that starts in the background. We have lorikeets that are flying in the back. And so the idea here is that we have um, people don't just associate a particular concept with a particular location. So we have the availability heuristic, and they don't just associate that with Danny Kahneman's apartment. They learn it and they see it in a whole bunch of different contexts, and that's obviously important. There's a bunch of these sort of context effects that, that we're relying on throughout the course to try to make learning stick, to make these things stick in people's memory for a longer period. But the problem is we have to balance these things with interest. It's a difficult uh, sort of thing to do, as we said, because we have these desirable difficulties. We have um, these sort of effortful processes. It's hard. If we did this right, we would make this sort of material very difficult for students to kind of organize and everything else, but that's at a cost. We have tens of thousands of students in this course and we want to keep them around week to week. It's not like a university course where they have to be there in order to get a certified. People are doing this on their own time. They're actually kind of sitting back and watching this almost as entertainment. And if that's the case, you can't make it really effortful for people in the same sense that we can in a university. So the way that we're trying to make it interesting is to have really high production value video, to shoot in interesting places. We're interviewing some of the best people on the planet. Uh, in a couple weeks, we have the Mythbusters. That's going to be exciting. And this is hopefully going to keep people interested in the content. We have uh, coming up in the next episode. We have highlight reels and um, all of this is designed to keep people's interest but at the same time we're trying to balance that with these sort of desirable difficulties to make uh, the material stick and last longer. So it's, it'd be an exercise for the students to kind of watch each of these episodes as we do them to see what sort of learning um, principles that we're applying and uh, and see whether they can recognize what sort of things that we're doing. Okay.